All right, that's what I'm trying to do here. Not what I'm trying to do, what I am doing. Is I am making this uh, birch bark sheath. I already made the knife. Back to the second hole again, just to make it uh, a little bit stronger. I need to go down a couple. Back and forth a couple times through it, it makes like a, a knot on itself. I'm sure we get that next time. Hold on, I think I can get this off of here. Need another knife I'm working on. These are called the uh, Ukrit. Still gotta do more work on it, but getting close. Yeah, I'm not real fond of this. That's not. Yeah, that's stitching. I ain't really fond of that stitching. You know, but. I got glue on here, too. Oh, boy. Careful using that. If it cuts the blade, I'll throw it back so fast. I've cut my fingers so many times, it shouldn't even do that, but whatever. Anyways, here's the 
This is the other one. This is a U-Kurt. This is a left-handed one. I think it's made for this way when you cut. This falls in the hole. You can probably see there's wood in there too. Put it in. Pull it extra off this way. And there she is. I'll put a strap on here. Pretty good. Should probably put more retention on there after. Let's take the birch bark. I heat it up with a heat gun. And you can fold it, you can make it, it's like, it gets really malleable. And then we'll just uh, probably heat it up in the toaster oven for a little bit, just to, to seal everything up good. Put some kind of shellac or some kind of sealing on the outside to keep it nice and hard. That's just a quick little, quick little video. So you can see what's going on here. That's yeah. That's a birch bark. All it is is birch bark. Birch bark right here. It's pretty thick though. That's about a eighth of an inch, something like that, I guess. And I'll make a belt loop for it. And I think it'll be good. All right. Ooh, can you see out there? I haven't got any snow in a while. <coughs> no snow. It's not very cold today. A little bit, but not that bad. All right. Catch you later. Oh, not even ready, but anyways. So. Knife is done. This is all birch bark. Let's put some varnish on it. This is a left handed Yukurt knife. It's made like for bushcraft. You would use it like cutting and drilling. I'm right handed, but whatever. And they are sharp. Like it's just no effort to cut the hair at all. Not the greatest light this one here today. So it's for your left hand. I'm gonna hold it like this. This is the birch bark sheath. It's all birch bark. It's in good. push it you can get it out you can tighten it up if you want and this is the right-handed one a couple of different styles and this one too is they're so sharp it's like it's just like it takes no effort to cut your hair it's like, put a little stainless steel pin in here some copper here, this is bone, this is aluminum. Same thing, copper, bone, aluminum. This is some kind of a carbon steel. It's my sister's boyfriend, or my daughter's boyfriend gave it to me. It's uh, similar to a uh, 5160, but a little different. Not sure what it is. I haven't really tested it to see what it's, what it's like, but I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy sharp. You can also, we can drill with it if you want to drill a hole. You still have to make the sheath for this one, but I'm going to use some leather. 
for that one. Yeah. So, I might sell this one, but I'm not sure. I got, I got some more. Got this one too. They're kind of funny looking, but whatever. <laughs> 